Working with the George Eliot collection for many years now, I feel this sort of intense connection with, with her as a person. I think that's what's so important to me. Some might find her novels quite difficult reads, um, there's some real beauty in the novels as well, but to find out about her life and you know how she was living just perhaps a mile from where I work, and particularly the really strong friends she made whilst living here. That's Charles and Cara Bray and Sarah Hennell. Brings that real sense of the woman and her strength and, you know, really what she achieved at the time. You know, she was really quite an incredible person. George Eliot's works are really important because they reflect that feminist viewpoint, relationships between a husband and wife or brothers and sisters, but also how society impacted on those relationships. Those sort of ideas and thoughts always keep resonating with all of us as individuals through her published works, but also through the letters that we have and obviously Cara Bray's diary. They do make her human because I think we all sort of think, oh, she was this great literary figure, which she was but then there was also Marianne Evans, the woman. Whether it's the portrait of her father that shows at some points a dedicated but strange relationship, or whether it's the writing board that was made to her by a dear friend who called her mother and she called daughter. There's something there that tells us about our relationships today and how they evolve and change in time. And for us here at, in the centre of Coventry, so much of the things relate to things less than a mile away, where she was living at Birdgrove, her friend's house at Rosehill. So it's so right to have this wonderful collection about her life in Coventry here at the Herbert.